Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky. Next? Uh, if you haven't been keeping up to date with the No Man's Sky verse, I don't really blame you because there's not been a lot to see, has there? But they have done a new update for the game uh, that adds a lot of stuff to it. And I kind of want to just show it off a little bit, go through it a little bit, because there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of people being uh, kind of confused as to what there is to actually do now, what's different, etc, etc. So, uh, I've got a little creative game here. I've been trying to play, well, I tried for a little bit, playing actual story mode. Why did I die almost? Where am I? Hello? Hazardous heat levels. What is, where's my thing? Where's my ship? Thermal support, sodium, nitrate. What is this? Why extreme heat damage? I barely play, pushed a button yet. I can't scan for sodium. That's carbon. Why? Why? Get out of here. I'm glad that they updated this game. This is much better than before. Yeah? You fall down, you break your leg on a planet. You are, you're immediately exposed to deadly heat, and then you die. Great. Great. Good job. Good GG, No Man's Sky. You did it. You fixed your game. But personally, I just can't get into the story. I, I can't... I, I don't find it interesting. I don't find it... Fi I find it way too slow. You have to grind for hours and hours just to refuel your suit and refuel your weapon and refuel your ship just so you can go to other places and grind even more and do the same thing. It's just, it's too slow. But in creative mode, it's kind of fun. Uh, so I have a little base down here. Uh, I have a little ship, as you can see. Uh, and I figured oh, I'll just show things off. First of all, I'm playing with the controller because the PC keyboard Shortcuts controls are god awful. So I'm gonna first of all uh, move over here and select the view. Look at this! You can do third third person now. Woo woo woo! So let's go down to my base, which is over here. Um, there's another cool thing, which I don't know if this is part of the next update or if it's part of the just the game since before. But if you hit the menu again and then you can go into photo mode now this is the fun stuff here you can do all sorts of shit you can have depth of field and you can have filters this one is my personal favorite and you can set the let's set the depth of field this is obnoxious look you have to press per percentage but come on <laughs> so you have that and you have a nice uh, the depth of field is always focused on your ship which is kind of cool kind of neat you can do a lot of fun stuff. You can, uh, if if you're playing on the keyboard, you press F. If you're playing on a controller, you press the thumbstick, the right thumbstick, to move the sun to to screen center. So you can frame some really cool images. You know, it's very it's it's a very fun tool to play around with. If you follow my Twitter, you might have seen some some images I, I posted just before of just cool shots you can do, um, in the game, not not alcoholic ones. But anyway, it's a fun little thing. So I guess this video, this video is gonna be more of a just showing off things and talking about the game in general. Uh, I will say that once you launch the game, you're met with this screen, and there are no ways of changing any options without loading a game, which is obnoxious. But here's my base. Look at that. Whee, let's land it. Uh, this is a base made in creative, so... Um, I don't really know how long this would take to make collecting resources, but you can see I got a little message there. It's because they've added in message modules, and I'll show you why these are very annoying soon. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is my planet. Welcome. So I have, uh, I have the vehicles. The vehicles aren't new. I just wanted to put them in because, I mean, why wouldn't you if you can? So they're there, and I have the big truck over yonder. Um, and this is my home, my little base. This planet is actually kind of nice, isn't it? Let's see when the sun rises. Ooh. Ah. Wow. You got a big-ass planet in the sky, which should really mess with gravity, I feel like. 
but it's a nice place. It's vibrant. It's got a blue sky for once. It's not a pea soup yellow sky. As you can also see, I am playing third person perspective with my character, which is a new feature. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like my pants are riding a little bit low. <laughs> uh, but that is part of the character customization thing. Wow. Yep, that's right. You can character customize now, which I'll show you in just a bit. But welcome to my base. There's a little greeting area, a little, little table you can sit down, have a little snack at. There's a reception disc. I don't have a receptionist, but that doesn't... I mean, we can pretend. Come on, don't out me here. Uh, over here, it's a little greenhouse area. Again, this is the base building bits that has been in the game for a while. Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever is a great game, to be sure. And this is uh, the agricultural terminal, which I also don't have an employee for just yet. But <laughs> let's move on. Uh, this is, uh, it's kind of giving me a little bit of, Rhythm Heaven Fever is a great game. Kind of giving me a little bit of sub Subnautica feel this now, right? So we have a teleporter in here. This is where you, you land when you teleport in uh, from whatever space station or other base you are at. Over here we have the appearance modifier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which are also located at every base uh, space station. And here we have uh, a large refinery in this room. Very Subnautica-esque um, in terms of the base pieces and layouts. Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever is a great game. <laughs> you can sort of see why these uh, message modules can get quite frustrating. Because they never shut up. Uh, anyway, we have a color-coded little room here. Yellow for science terminal. Blue for uh, general planning, which I actually have an employee for. Hello. Uh, and then uh, pink, I guess, for the weapons. And then up here, we have... My living quarters! Wow, we. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, see, this is. <laughs> Here's the issue, right? <laughs> I put the ladder here in hopes of being able to get off the ladder once I've gotten, uh, you know, to the next floor. So I put the next ladder opposite. Turns out that doesn't really matter, because it still counts uh, as a ladder. So building multiple stories is is kind of tricky because what you have to do now is climb up to the very tippy top which is just a, a greenhouse yeah it's just a you know it's a way for me to be outside without being outside basically I can just be in here when it's raining listen to the rain and just have a tranquil peace of mind but to get to the actual living quarters you have to climb all the way up here and then you have to fall down <laughs> that's how you do it it's uh, it's burglar proof because as the burglars ha climb all the way up to the tippy top, I, uh, I'm able to kick them in the uh, uh, gonads uh, on the way. Potentially uh, bonk them in the chrome dome on their way down. But this is where I sleep. This is where I sit. This is where I compute. And this is where I draw. And this is where I look. Survey. Anyway. Let's see if I can go back down. Hey! It works. So that's my little base. It's a pretty cool little thing. I really enjoy uh, how this uh, is shaping up in general. I still don't feel like the game is very engaging. Like, you do this and then you're kind of done. But you have to give them credit. You have to give the team and Murray, Sean Murray himself, definitely, credit for what they've been doing with the game. Because after all the reviews came in, if you remember back in 2016 when the game came out, it was met with almost nothing but hate. Hate and death threats, uh, which, you know, is never warranted, but the internet is gonna internet. And, uh, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of outrage uh, just towards the game and the team in general. And the fact that they have kept up updating and working on the game and pushing out the base building and the vehicles in its separate update and now third person and uh, uh, the visual overhaul of just making things look prettier for free, which you can argue should be for free, which yes, it should be, but you know, in this day and age, pushing out content for games for free isn't a given. So I still feel like they, they deserve some uh, credit for that. 
You also have gestures now because there is proper multiplayer in the game, which I haven't tried out yet, but you can either join a game or host a game, sort of akin to uh, Astroneer, which is kind of cute. You know, I like that for, uh, for multiplayer games. Uh, the base building is uh, fairly straightforward. See, this is the thing that's confusing to me and uh, confusing to, uh, well, Ethan, because I watched him stream the game. But to build a base ever at all, you first have to go into equipment, portable equipment, and then find the base computer. You plonk that down and you claim the area. That's the first thing you have to do. Then you're you're allowed to build bases. So you have your your pre-made pieces here. You have platforms uh, for for whatever support structures you you feel like you want to do. You don't have to do them, uh, but it looks prettier. So I chose to do them. And then you have the pre-made rooms, pre-made hallways, etc., uh, etc. Et Pretty nifty. Uh, you have windows that you can plop into walls. Uh, you have these bigger windows that just don't go on walls. Uh, while these ones do, these ones don't, and these ones don't. I don't know why some do and some don't, but they do and they don't. So now you know. There's also ladders that go, uh, I, I don't know, just out on scaffolding maybe. Uh, and then there's the doors that go like so, or the portals that go like so. That's basically it for those things. Uh, and then you have the little small rooms, which uh, was uh, the thing I'd just snapped onto the sides here to have uh, to have my little stations in. Because you're not allowed to put multiple st workstations in the one room, and these counts as separate rooms. So you can just plonk, uh, plonk little, little squares, little cubes down, uh, and you can just, you know, make, make little rooms. You can see the guy in there. Hello! Uh, I won't build a window for you, though. Actually... In saying that, do these windows... <gasps> they do! Look! These windows work on the cubes! I see. Dude, let's make windows for this guy. Hello! <gasps> so you can watch the approaching storm, no? Okay, wait. Snap. Snap, please. Snap. Yeah. I'm just gonna put windows on all these. Hey, uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever is a great game, though. Just, you know, I just want to let people know that this is actually happening. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we have some windows, we have a, we have a firestorm, I guess. I'm creative though, so um, I don't die. <laughs> that sounds so douchey when you say it, doesn't it? Um, excuse me, I'm a creative. Uh, and then you also have, you know, your, your, your uh, standard pieces for constructing your own bases. You have little doors, you have little uh, smaller doors, you have little shop front windows with doors, uh, which is fun. You have the same in concrete and the same in wood, depending on how rustic you want to be. So that's kind of fun, you know? All this stuff uh, I quite enjoy. This is uh, what I personally spend the most time doing when I play these games. I will say that how, uh, th to get to first slash third person mode is obnoxious, because you have to hit this button which it, no. You have to hit this button, which is the menu, which is down on the controller, it's X on the keyboard. Then on the keyboard, you have to hit Q, so X, Q, 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 F, E, E, F, and there you toggle the camera view. I personally, hey, Rhythm Heaven Fever is great, great. I personally prefer playing in first person uh, for the ship, but I quite like you know, I quite like third person for the human. Uh, especially when playing with the controller, because I don't like controlling first person perspectives with uh, with the controller. But you know, that's uh, up to you. The option is there, and I like it. I'm, I'm glad that they added that. Hello! Hey, you should get out! Get out of the thing! Get out of- I'll feed you, but get in! Get to shelter! Go in there! You can do it! All right, well, I'm gonna take off then. See, see you later. Don't die. Don't boil. It's a firestorm. Jesus. Anyway, peace out. So, let's take off. And let's go to the space station, which I know is located around here. Boo! Ah, there it is. See? I mean, this is just cool. This is just pretty. Look, let's do this. Let's do this. 
and then let's do this, and then let's do this. Just look at that. Just look at how pretty this is. You can make such, like, cool, like, wallpapers or desktop backgrounds or whatever. I mean, this is just pretty. You have to, you have to, you have to admit that. Even though the game might not be your, your bag of milk, you know? You can make a lot of real cool stuff with this tool. Any game that has um, a photo mode is uh, is a plus in my book. You know, I just like it. <laughs> it's just cool. Anyway, let's go in here and check out the new space stations. Yes, they are updated. Uh, unfortunately, they are still all updated the same way. So every space station is the same, which is kind of dull. But I, I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I still feel that that's the the game's downfall, the game's main downfall, is the lack of variety. Because every space station and every uh, planet looks more or less the same. And planets don't have biomes. So if you go down to a planet, uh, at least what I've found, if you go down to a planet, you, you scout the region of the planet, that's the whole planet. Hello! Hey guys, what's up? Hang on, let me see if I can, uh, uh just give me a second. Hello! Okay, they, they've stopped, stopped paying. Hello! Hey, okay, he did it. What's up? So this is new. Uh, the space stations are definitely more lively and more fun to be in. They feel more kind of mall, molly, which I like. Uh, you have these little stalls for purchasing tools and blueprints and, uh, here's a tech guy. The guild envoy, apparently. What? 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 I'm just browsing. Shut up. Uh, so that's cute. You have a little galactic space terminal there. Uh, it's just a nicer, nicer place to be in, you know? It feels more... Uh, it feels more used and usable, user-friendly, I guess, with all these people. There are these weird holes that you can't jump down in. And I really want to, but there's invis invisible walls. Which makes me question, why not just put glass around that? Because this is just obnoxious. Come on! I wanna go in there! Uh, so anyway, let's go over to the other side and customize our character. Oops. Yeah, that's kind of fun. And... Woohoo! Hello! It's me, Spaceman. What's up guys, it's me, I'm back. Okay, anyway, they know me, they like me. Hey, weapons guy. Dude, can I get a new weapon? <gasps> can I get an- Whoa! Dude, I want this one. How much is it? Ooh, dude, that one looks dope. Oh, it's free? Dude, I'll take it. Check that out. Thank you. Do you have anything else? No. Hey, how about those- How about that one? How about this one behind you? The big one? The lawnmower engine, can I get that? Oh yeah, let's buy this one. I don't know what it does! Haha, <laughs> see ya. What is this? A waveform recycler. Dude, I don't recycle. What do I look like? Greenpeace? I'm sorry. You should recycle though. For sure. Hey, what's up? Oh. Yeah, see, he usually sells backpacks. I already bought one. But anyway, here's where you make your character look different. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really into this. I thought that you'd make your character look different uh, uh, when you started the game and that's what you'd be stuck with. Turns out, no, you can just do this whenever the hell you feel like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. You can be one of these guys. You can look like that. You can look, you can have a, you can look like, you can cosplay as Lotad um, or, or uh, this guy. Maybe, maybe it's... Tracer, I guess, combined with Ghostbusters, combined with the the orange Yoda from New Star Wars. It's kind of fun, you know? Uh, you can be that guy, you can be this one, you can be that one, you can be... How... My question here is, how is that guy and this guy the same species as this and that? They're very different. Uh, you can be these guys if you're crazy, because who the hell would want to look like... Ah, stop it! Uh, you can be Daft Punk, which is kind of fun. Uh, or you can be the Travelers, which are my favorites, uh, because they look nuts. Look at that. You can be like a a shark, a hammerhead shark cat. You can be uh, J Johnny Five. 
Uh, you can be a ball of light, which I really like. Uh, or, uh, you know, pyramid head. Or uh, this guy. Or just a really grumpy shark. Uh, or another one of those, or another one of those, or that one, or another one of those. It's kind of fun. I do like this one as well. If you go here and you select this one, you have like little emoti eyes and a happy mouth. And it's so adorable. Plus, there's also, uh, I think it's this one? No. This one? No. This one? No. This one? No. This one? Which is basically just a stormtrooper. <laughs> It's kind of fun. And then of course you can go in here and you can select different types of heads and whatever you want with your suits and color them uh, to your liking. Which is kind of fun. You have different markings, you have different colors, you have different types of patterns uh, or none if you so choose. Which, you know, you can make yourself look really badass. I really like that the torso and the armor is separate. So see here, if I select my uh, torso colors uh, and torso style, I can do stuff like this, real cool, real nice. But then I can also go into armor, and that is a separate entity. So I can be Tracer, I can be a roller coaster uh, safeguard, I can be just a knight, I guess. Or I can be a, a Chinese warrior. All of these things are available to you. I kind of want to be Tracer though, I think. There! Look at me go. I am now, uh, well... Uh, an, an evil... I'm like a- I could be- stop looking at not me. Hello? <laughs> there. I could be like a bounty hunter from Star Wars, but I'm also cosplaying as uh, a, a, a diver from the 1920s, who is also a ghost-busting tracer. I couldn't decide, okay? I couldn't decide what to cosplay as, and this is what we're going with. Shut up. Ow. Okay. Let's see if uh, if uh, we can summon in my my freighter is over there my capital ship because this is pretty fun as well if you Let's see summon in the freighter. This is also very cool looking check it It's actually like warping in here's my little ones come on there you go <laughs> Nice, okay, let's go in here uh, So a fun thing is if you find the capital ships out in the wild you can Either purchase them, or you can purchase- you can hire tiny ones. These tiny guys uh, surround freighter ships, and you can fly up to them, and you can hire them. Which is kind of fun, because in here, you can, s you can send your tiny ships on missions. What is your ship? <laughs> it's just a little tube. Aw, you haven't gotten too far in space travel development, have you? No. Ooh, yours is kind of neat. It's like an X-Wing almost. Dude, I like it. Can I buy it? Before you leave this place. Yeah, 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 totally, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make an offer. Uh, can I buy your ship for, ooh, I don't know the amount of zero? <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. See you later. Now that's my ship. Uh, it's kind of fun because you can call in, you can own multiple ships, and at any point you can call in any of the ships you own. So you can just, you know, have a collection and then pick your favorite for the moment. Which is fun. Anyway, let's go up here. Beep, boop, boom, boom. So in here is your uh, freighter area. Now, this is kind of fun because you can build new areas of your freighter. You can even make new levels, <laughs> which uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure how that works logistically because it's a it's a ship. What is up there? Otherwise, it's also very easy to get lost. Hello. One thing I will mention that is kind of broken is that if you uh, make a room behind one of these number signs, the sign stays there. Just, you know, float, floaty, floaty bit like that. Which I don't feel like it should do. But anyway, let's go over here uh, and check out my freighter fleet. Hello! So, you have little mini missions here, which are kind of fun, kind of easy way to make some money. Scan 14 creatures, I mean that's fairly easy, and you get 263,000 money for it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, collect some cobalt, I mean you can, you might just, just as well take, take all of these uh, on and just do them, and you get money. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and then you have your warp here, where you can just warp your entire fleet somewhere else. You don't have to go out and then summon it. 
which is kind of fun. And then you have your manage fleet. So these are my current ships that I have. I have two combat ships and one support ships, and they have levels and they have stats and all 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 all, all, all that stuff. You can go into one, you can see what it can do, how much it costs to run it, because there is uh, a cost to running these things. You can rename them, blah blah blah, all this uh, stuff. But if you go talk to this dude, you can actually send your fleet on missions, which is kind of cool. Uh, well, apparently, apparently my fleet is busy because I've already sent them on a mission. But <laughs> if you go to him, you can send them on missions. The thing with the missions is that they take real time. It'll say when you get a mission, it'll say, you know, there's uh, this mission and it takes an hour and a half. And as your fleet goes away, it'll give you sort of uh, messages down here in the corner. It'll say, your fleet has arrived th at the location. And, you know, it's, it's taking X amount of time to do those things. Here's my fleet. I'm contacting him right now. I'm going to debrief him because they've, they've done a mission. They've covered 992 light years, apparently. Jesus, what did they do? They rounded up some Gex smugglers. They got some chromatic metal. That's kind of fun. They also detonated an explosive device within the hold! What? No! Uh, and they also found some conflict levels. They claimed 87 bounties, and they made 30,000 money! That's fun. Yeah, 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 okay, got it. Uh, and then they returned home. So they did a bunch of shit, they got a bunch of money, and they returned home, safe and sound. Debriefed, Commander. 62,000 money! Dude, it's pretty lucrative, isn't it? Yeah, what's up? Let's send them on another mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Potential expeditions. What do you got? Combat, patrol, a balanced one. So my current fleet uh, rating is two, so I probably shouldn't pick this one, right? I could do this one. I could do some easy peasy ones, maybe? Hmm. Let's do- they just did a combat one, so let's send them on a balanced mission. I'm gonna assign probably this one, and... You know, let's give this one a break, and let's assign this one, because it's the shit one. So, we'll assign this with, uh, with the- with the big guy, and he can train them up, right? Good. Uh, do I want to assign any modules? It is an- it is a balanced mission, so maybe let's uh, assign some holographic a analyzers and some mineral compressors because I have those and I don't know what is that good exploration and industry plus sure see ya so that's kind of cool right you can do all these crazy shit now with your fleet be a little starship captain I do find that it's a bit dark and dismal in here and oops what did I do Hey, I'm a trucker! <laughs> Hooray! I wonder if you can put lights in here, because I do find that it's- You can! I do find that it's a little bit dank in here. Although, it doesn't seem like the lights really light, light things up much, does it? I don't know, I feel like it's- I, cur I feel like this, this uh, whole ship currently is a bit too uh, Borg. For my liking, I would like it to be more Starfleet, if if you if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but it's pretty cool. You can be a, you can be your own little little Captain Spock, uh, uh, or Commander uh, Kirk, or uh, Professor X, which is kind of neat. So let's get out of here. You can tell that the third person animation uh, is uh, this is an afterthought because look at the sliding around. This is my main gripe with the with the third person. It's very slight around me. But I'll allow it. I'll forgive it. You know. It, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's take my new ship and go back down to my planet. And we'll we'll end off there, shall we? Just because it's this is the funnest part, for sure. Flying ships. Woo! Look, it almost looks a bit Starfleety. It almost looks a bit enterprisey. Aw, oh, that's fun. And <laughs> engage. Boom. See you later, freighter. Honey! Put the kettle on! I'm coming in! 
Oui Wow, 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 wow Woo! <laughs> It's a quick-ass landing. Hello! Aw. Oh, I do like that my base says hello to me when, uh, when I arrive. One thing I uh, feel like I have to mention, just just because, how how you control these vehicles is one of the more obnoxious things in the world. Because, okay, you enter a vehicle. For the spaceships to accelerate, you hold down the right trigger, as you would with any car or vehicle in any game, right? Do that with this, nothing happens. A button? No, that doesn't go forwards at all. How do I drive this? Oh, what the? Oh, oh, wait, no. Here's how you do it. So, forwards and backwards with the left thumbstick, the walking stick, is your acceleration or reverse. The way you turn is by turning the camera and then going forward. So it's always gonna go in the direction you point the camera, which is really messed up to wrap your brain around, because I feel like I want to turn the go stick to the side, to go to the side. Like, just, just strafe, strafe. No, okay, no, I gotta, okay. So that's basically how you drive these things, which is really weird and really tricky to get a hang of, I feel. But, you know, it's a, I guess it's a minor complaint <laughs> with the controls. It's just weird because you already have good controls for the ship. Anyway, let's go into the base uh, and we'll end we'll end off in my living quarters. Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever is uh, a great game. I just want to mention. Oh yeah, let's let's do this again. Up but up up but up. <gasps> Magic. Wow. Um gestures sit. Ah. After a nice day of spacing around, we made it back home. So anyway, that was my look at No Man's Sky uh, next, in its current state. There's a lot of stuff that's still the same, but there's also a lot of stuff that is new. Story-wise, I don't find it engaging enough, and uh, in non-creative mode, I find it too tedious to farm the stuff you need. But I will say that with the portable miner and those kinds of units to extract stuff for you, I guess once you get that far, uh, it kind of eases up. To me personally, it's just too tedious to get to that point. So would I recommend this game? Uh, not if you're interested in a story or in, you know, uh, an engaging game in that sense. If, however, you're only in it for a space sandbox where you can fly around and do random shit and build a little base, uh, sure, you know, that's, that's, that's the fun part that I've gotten out of this. So, uh, I'll leave, I'll leave the rest up to you. But, hey, Rhythm Heaven Fever is a great game. And there's a tree, nope, there's not a tree in my base, great. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, until next time, you know, whatever that'll be, do take care. And, uh, and, uh, goodbye! You, that's what I'm talking to. Goodbye! Whew, that was good, we did it. How do you, how do you feel about the video? Me? Hey!